Hello, in this lecture we will take a look at the ping, at the ping uh, sort of a socket function. It's very very simple, very simple thing and not very many use cases for it. Okay, but uh, mainly what you can do with this is get an IP address from a domain name. Okay, and you can obviously verify if that domain name exists at all, if it's uh, valid or not, and things like that. So uh, I will show you a sort of an example for that, but for now, let's take a look at how it works, how it's all established. You see, if I run this application, I get three things. I get IP address, success, and then there's a bit of a size. So I'll show you what the size is all about. Okay, like that we can go down right here and you see we have just a few things variable p that's the ping okay so this uh, whole uh, constructed class uh, holds stuff for you to use ping now if i go into that uh, p like that um, you can see we have um, a few things here but uh, not really that much basically we just send okay we have different kinds of uh, uh, send and that's really all there is to it. Uh, okay, and that's that. So once we send, once we send, we need to provide the address, the domain, uh, or whatever it may be. Uh, you see, we have um, a host name or address, but we do have seven overloads. Now, if I quickly get into that, uh, uh, we can actually use an address. We can provide a timeout. Uh, again, you use our address and timeout. You can use host name, timeout, and then uh, a buffer to uh, send a sort of uh, test message, uh, which I don't really uh, advise to do when, when you're doing the simple test. There's really no reason for that, but um, uh, that possibility does exist, so you simply provide a byte array in that case. So, but again, you do from P, send, you send, you receive a response. Now, if I go into the response a bit deeper, we can see we have status, address, round trip, time. Okay, and then we have the buffer. And then we have options, and we have the uh, same thing. So, not a whole lot of thing, and uh, this is actually round trip time. So, this is how much time uh, it takes. Uh, it actually gives you a description. See, it gets the number of milliseconds taken to send and uh, ICMP echo request and receive a corresponding response, basically. Uh, so this is, uh, that was 63 uh, milliseconds. So that's what it gives you. I said size uh, previously, but it's not size. It's just um, uh, the time it takes, basically. Okay, and then we have status. Okay, so if it's success, it's success. If it's not, it's not. Um, and then we have the address. Now, in the next lecture, I will show you a sort of a real world implementation. It will be very, very basic. There's nothing too much real world about it, but at least you'll see some use case. And again, this is a very simple thing to use, so we won't uh, be spending too much time on this whole thing. And with that said, we will conclude this lecture.